here with Mr. Alex Weber. We're fishing a tiny little lake, a little ways north of Madison. I was not even ready to start filming anything yet and tipped down literally like as he was dropping it down. Wham. In my hand. Got a super, super nice crappie. There's one we, down there. we literally only have like one line in the water and we just caught one. So hopefully that's a sign of really cool things to come. Today we are chasing giganto panfish in a super tiny little lake. And we're gonna show you how to get really finicky fish to eat in really clear water. Let's do it. All right, so this is just a super, super easy, super lightweight setup. You can see a size 16 little itty bitty treble right through the back and that dorsal fin. A crappie minnow. As you can see, these are just really easy rod setups and that is a clothes hanger poke through the the butt of that rod and I'm setting these we're actually in about 14 feet of water but the weeds come up to about seven and I'm just letting that minnow get right up to the top of that weed line there's a fish coming right up to it there is but when you're dealing with these really finicky fish it takes almost nothing to drop this this rod tip down. Oh yeah, they're coming, for. dude. They're coming. Oh, other one, other one. Which one? Oh, jeez. Oh, he dropped that one too. All right, this one's getting hit again. Water. Here we go. Halfway down. Got him. Feels like another. Crappy little guy. That is the first, and he popped right off. That is the first, oop, see ya. Little crappy we've got this morning. Still there? Oh yeah, we got him. It took it like a bass, just slammed it down. Crappy, oh, nice crappy. Another stud crappy. Oh, we just barely have them too. Watch this. Doink. Oh. No, actually we got them a little better than I thought. Ow, oh, hook in my finger. Jumbo crappie. Look at you. Beautiful. Alright. So this is our other method for catching these crappies. This is called a finicky fooler. And essentially this works very similar to a tip down in the idea that the fish kind of grabs the bait and sort of runs with it, runs with it, runs with it. And we have an indicator letting us know when we actually have a bite. And the way this thing works, we have kind of our little rod holder set up here. We have a little trigger arm that the line actually gets looped through. I have the real free, free spooled so they can run with the line. So essentially what'll happen is the fish grabs the bait, runs with it, runs with it, runs with it, lifts up this trigger arm and the flag pops. And now the reel is free spooled so that fish can just run with the line. It doesn't feel any resistance. And it's just like a regular tip down. From that point on, walk over, close the bale, reel down on them, catch the fish. Pretty slick setup here come on pop it pop it pop it he's on it there it goes fish on oh we got a double let him eat it let him eat it let him eat it reel down oh and he dropped it all right a little bit of a redo here <laughs> that is the coolest thing when that flag pops taking line got them. That's the kind of nice thing about this rig is you don't actually have to set the hook. You just reel down on the fish. Another nice crappie. Come here, buddy. You just reel down on the fish and they're there. Super simple. Again, hooked perfect right in the roof of the mouth. Gorgeous. You need a I do need a minnow, as a matter of fact.
just let a fish go. We got one running on the finicky. Got him. It's so nice seeing that flag up from a ways away. Big one. Big one, dude. That is a freaking giant crappie. Look at that on the finicky fooler while he gobbled that thing. There we go. Bait is out. That is a gorgeous, just a gorgeous crappie. All right. Oh gosh, that thing is huge. We got to get the tape on that one. Probably. So we're, basically this whole lake is just a big, big basin. It's real deep in the middle and we're on fairly deep water, a deeper weed edge, 15 feet of water. And right over here, as we drilled a bunch of holes, you can see some of these towers of weeds come up to three feet of the top of the ice here. Now this one here, I think the weeds are only coming up to about eight. So we're kind of setting these things in between the big towers of, of weeds. And I'm sure using that as cover, same with the bait fish chasing those things around. So any hole we can get a good eight feet of water, dropping a line and there seem to be crappies there. I was just clearing the ice off my lens. It's probably kind of crappy looking right now. Speaking of crappy, there he goes. All right, that wasn't a giant, probably a eight, nine incher maybe. Well, I gotta go over there to get a minnow anyway, so. Let's see. We'll walk over there and see if that one goes while we're... Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a bass. That's got to be a bass. Oh, he's off. That is exactly why we have the spool tension set really light on these so they can pull line in case something like that happens. That had to have been a bass. I mean, it could have been a small pike or something, but that is a prime example <laughs> of why we have our spool tension set really light so that fish could actually pull line and not rip the rod down the hole because that absolutely would have gone down the hole. All right, let's reset, try to catch another fish. <laughs> Got him, feels like a nice one. Come here, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh, he's off, he's off, he's off. He's still in the hole. Oh, darn it, I screwed that up. Almost had him. He like poked my finger with his dorsal fin when I reached in there. Dang it, you know what? It's kind of crazy when you've caught so many fish that size where you just don't even care anymore if you lose them at the hole. That is so cool. So stinking. guys that is gonna be a wrap for today the sun is obviously shining I can't see anything and the crappie bite has definitely almost completely shut off a lot of times that happens especially this time of year the crappies go hot and heavy early and late in the day and we're gonna get out of here but hopefully we we're able to show you guys how effective tip downs and tip down like devices like the finicky fooler can be to get really finicky crappies to not be so finicky. They weren't finicky this morning. They were not sure. finicky. <laughs> we kind of smashed the crap out of them. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You found it a little bit useful, found it entertaining. If you liked it, hit the like button and be sure to hit the subscribe button because there is a lot more videos on the way. See you guys on the next one.